Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute. I haven't really had a chance to do do any uploads or anything. Just got back from Disneyland with the family. Spent all my basically transmission, built transmission money there going there. That place is it's for my daughter's birthday, so it was well worth it. I mean she loved it. And uh the whole royal treatment, princess, makeover, all kinds of crazy stuff. I had no idea they did that stuff, but she loved it. Five years old. Hopefully Hopefully my last time to Disneyland. I mean, no offense to California people, but I'm not a big fan of California. Basically just the laws and how restrictive they are and just, I'm just not a big fan. Disney was awesome, the weather's good. There's some good people down there. I'm just not a fan of the state in general. But, um, I, but I appreciate people that, uh, your guys' struggles down there to try to get your car, car fun. It, it, it must be tough. Um, right now I'm just getting the, getting the, this mangy old filter cleaned up. I do need to get a new filter for this thing sometime, whenever I can. I just got to find out what one size is, what size fits it. I mean, I I run the filter most of the time. Um, when I drive it, I just take it off if I'm going to do something on the strip. It's just not something that I'm going to. I don't want to suck all the crap into this thing. But, um, anyways, we're pretty much dialed in and ready for streetcar takeover. The uh, 3.47 pulley's on, it's all tuned up for that. I've been running around on the street tires. Uh, it's my way of not not doing too much Mexico stuff. If I got the street tires on, I'm not gonna do that. So I got the um, race tires up there. Those things are sitting up there. Um, they're gonna be ready for street car takeover. Um, everything in the car, pretty much, pretty much set. Like I said, 3.47 pulleys on there. Um, what we'll probably end up doing, uh, the, what is it? It's in Tucson this year, streetcar takeover, at least this time of year. And uh, it's a little bit different altitude down there. So what I'll do is, Bill already said, hey, bring it down. We'll make some a couple of adjustments on it and uh, have it ready for streetcar takeover. There's my boy, Jacer A360. Say hi. Um, and uh, we're gonna make some adjustments, just dial it in a little bit for uh, for Tucson, for the weather down there. Um, dude, I'm, we turned it up a little bit, so it's a little bit more than last time. The problem is, what I found out with these, with these gearing, is the Grand Sports have probably the worst gears for racing. Um, it's just how they are. I, I didn't even realize that Z06s have different gearing than the Trans. Grand Sport have different, ZD, ZR1s have two different transmission gearings. And uh, what it ends up being is my three to four shift, even if I take it to, what is it? 7,000 RPM in third, and then shift right as fast as you want, it still drops 2,000 RPM. So it goes from 7,000 all the way down to 5,000. So then it's not in very good boost. So what happens is it, it just, you know, it slows down the run. You lose, you lose probably, I don't know, five to eight PSI of boost that I don't even get into by the end of the run. So what hopefully this pulley will do is that it'll get us a little bit more, but not get me into trouble if I'm out playing in Mexico and over boost. Cause we don't want anything more than 21, 21, 22. That'll get us close to a thousand. So I imagine right now it's right around nine, right around 900, 950 horse, maybe if you can get it up into that boost. And that's what people don't realize is, okay, say it, it peaked out at a thousand horse at 21.8 PSI. Well, you don't see a thousand horse unless you're at that RPM during the race. And only at that split second that it's at that RPM. Then as soon as you shift, you know, you're down power again and come back up. So you don't get to hold a thousand RPM or a thousand horsepower the whole time. It's just not how it works, so. But the car is pretty much dialed. It, uh, it's set. So the goal this for the streetcar takeover is, uh, man, I, I really would love to try to hit an eight. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen with with this transmission in here. It's still stock trans, stock diff, stock axle, stock suspension. Um, it's just that forged motor with uh, with some love done to it. So um, eight eight would be fantastic. Last time I cut a one four zero sixty foot and uh, ran that 9.7, which is good at 144 miles an hour, and that's good. Uh, I would like more, but 
you know, with that shift three, four, it just does not get back into the boost quick enough. RPM, that drop is too much. So the goal, I really want to get an eight, but we'll see what happens. What I really need to do is find a trans builder, tick, RPM, somebody that, uh, that can get me those ZR1 gears in there and uh, get me a little bit better gear ratio for the drag racing. I think I'm gonna start doing a little bit more of that, a little more dig stuff, a little more, a little more track. Um, it is a roll car, that's just how it is. It, they get down from a roll, but we'll, uh, we'll do some more dig stuff. It seems a little bit safer. But uh, it did really good from a dig. You know, on the street, on the, on the track, it, it gets down pretty good. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, car, car's good, car's running super strong. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see see how it does. I still haven't wrapped it out hard since we put the uh, the 347 pulley in and uh, did some more some more adjustments to the tune. So uh, <clears throat> so we'll see. Um, gonna have it out on Friday night, the 15th. There's a dyno night and a, kind of a get together up in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. You know, up in Scottsdale from here, about 40 minutes from here. And uh, I'll go up there, hang out for a little bit, then I'll come back. Um, I'll probably swap the tires out that night, load it on the trailer. And I'm going to trailer it down to Tucson for the racing. Um, I normally, I like to drive it wherever we go and race it, but I'm going to try a little bit harder this time, see if I can get down into the 1.3s for the 60 with this stick shift car and uh, see if we can get, see if we can get closer to 8s. It's turned up a little bit. We're gonna have traction. Those, those Mickey's, the Mickey hook, they hook good. So as long as the prep down there is good, we're gonna do some roll racing. Um, I'm gonna try the rear wheel drive class. Uh, it caps you off at 150 miles an hour. I'm hoping I hit more than 150 in this thing. I'm pretty sure it will from a roll. So there'll be some big boys in the uh, King of the Bakery class. I know there's a shop in town that, you know, I'm, I'm a big show me what you've done, don't tell me what you're gonna do guy. So uh, they're, they're throwing out some forecasts of these seven second, near seven second cars when, I mean, they went auto because they can't drive a stick, you know, 11 second, 1200 horsepower cars because they can't drive a stick. So I'm gonna be going in against auto cars. I'm sure a lot of them. There'll probably be some stick shift cars, but autos are faster. You guys all know that. So we'll run, we'll run those guys and see how it does from, from a roll. We'll probably end up doing the king of the bakery. And, uh, and see how it does. I don't. I don't plan on um, winning that, but it's just another class to have some fun and get out there. And then I'll run the stick shift class. Um, stick shift class is uh, who knows. Who knows what kind of competition there's going to be in that. You know, I don't. I don't claim to be a, a, the best driver, but uh, stick shift class is, is what I what I'm going to enter. We'll see what kind of kind of cars there are down there, and uh, I'm sure there'll be some fast cars faster than me, and that's fine. I just want to go out and have some fun, hang out with the fellas. So, um, again, car's done. Car's good. Keeping the street tires on here to keep me keep me from running it too hard. Those things will be on there soon. And uh, like I said, 15th, 16th is street car takeover weekend. I have uh, some time off of work. We'll get down there and see how this thing goes. We'll see if we can get close to some eights. Um, see if it hurts some automatic car's feelings with this stock six speed stick shift car. We'll see how she does. Um, thanks for logging in guys. Please like, subscribe, um, RPM tick. If you want a stick shift car to run your stuff, let me know if any of you guys watch. Um, as far as I know, fastest stick shift car in Arizona. Um, there's been another vet, not stick shift car, stick shift vet. Uh, I have seen another one, another auto vet that ran a 969, a little bit slower, but he's an auto. I ran the 970, um, first time out boosted. So we'll see. Um, I think it's got more, it definitely has more in it because we were running the bigger pulley. Tucson's gonna be different, higher elevation, higher DA. We don't get good DAs out here in Arizona. It's, uh, well, hell, like today was 2,500 feet. It's cool outside, cool weather, but you know, it's 14, 1,500 feet elevation. That's 2,500 feet here in, in DA. So. We don't get that lucky stuff like you guys, some places in Texas, back east, Atco, all these all these awesome places that you guys get some good get some good good DA for your track. So it is what it is. And uh, I can appreciate the times that you guys run out there because 
I would I would be super happy with with that too. But um, again, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll get some more content for you. I'm gonna get some more stuff at Streetcar Takeover. Get some good videos, and uh, see what we can do with the stock six speed. Take care.